That is the breath of the wild. What is going on, my mobile gamers? I hope you guys can hear me well on the new setup that I have going on here. I am going to turn off this mic for a second so that you can only hear me on the one mic. So today we're going to hack the 3DS that you see here. Yes, we're going to hack this bad boy, as you see on the right-hand side of the screen. And the first thing we're going to do, I'm going to grab it. I'm going to take out the micro SD card or the SD card itself, which is right here. Yeah, this is the SD card we're going to be using. It's 128 or 64 gigabyte. And we're going to be using this little dongle right here. So we have this and this and then this little dongle. I have a card in here right now. So let's pop this out. This is going to be a little bit fun, I think, because... We're going to be doing something different. We're actually hacking a 3DS, not a 2DS, not a 2DS XL like a lot of people do. Voice is good. Thank you, Villager. How's it going, man? Uh, yeah, so basically, we're going to be hacking this thing. And like I said, not a 2DS like a lot of people do when they do these videos. I don't know why they say, oh, let's hack the 3DS. And then we're actually not hacking the 3DS. We're hacking the 2DS or the 2DS XL. I know it goes hand in hand, but whatever. So yeah, we're not going to be using this until after, so I'm going to set that aside, and I'm going to pop this right into here, and plug it into my computer, if I can find a spot. So ah, I just knocked my camera, or not my camera, my computer monitor, and I think that popped up on the screen, let's see, where's my mouse? I hope you guys are doing well. It's a nice Saturday. The rain has stopped where I'm at. Where is the SD card? Is it showing? Nope. So these little dongles kind of suck sometimes. I don't know why. There we go. There, well, it's showing it now. <laughs> Pop it back in. Pop it back out. Uh, external SD. Yeah, I know. What about, let's go to this PC. So if you have a actual SD card reader, that'd be better. But this thing does not want to read. Today is a holiday in Morocco. I wish it was a holiday every day, don't you? Come on, read the thing. Right, I'm going to unplug something else here. I got so many different USB ports on this computer. I just want to keep the camera one running. There we go. Da ding. As soon as you hear that da ding, can you guys hear the can you hear the the music? So there's the da ding. I don't know if the music's working. It doesn't seem like it wants to work. Let's browse. Let's pick a, a song. Try that. Well, I can't hear it, but I think you guys can. All right, so there is our SD card. So cool, that works. What is going on? It's good to see you again, by the way. You too, Radical Retro Gamer. I am going to be modding or hacking this thing in a few minutes here. So I finally just got the SD card. I'm going to do something quick so we're going to format this so i'm going to show you what version we're currently doing this on because i'm going to be doing the japanese 3ds but i'm not going to do it live uh i'm going to do that as just like a separate video uh no i don't want to format that make sure i format the right card 3ds games format 50, no. Okay, so I have something I'm going to be doing, so I'm going to switch back over. But yeah, so basically, let's go to our system settings. And we're going to check out the very first thing we need to check out, which is the actual firmware of the device. Keep it without music. All right. Yeah, I don't even know why the music's not really working anyways. So there we go. No music. <laughs> Maybe I'll add the music later. Let's get the pen out too. The pen is actually very useful to use that. Nintendo 3DS. Maybe it's because I pulled out. Oh, there it is. So 
We're on 11.13.0.45U. That's very important to know what version you're on. If you're on the latest version, that's okay as well. As I guess you can hack these things on any version nowadays. So I'm going to slide back over to the computer. All right, so I'm back over on the computer again. Uh, I'm going to put my pen over there. I know you guys can't see that thing. So the very first thing we're going to want to do, we're going to want to format this, but we're not going to format it to XFAT or NTFS. We're going to format it to FAT32. So the way that I'm going to be doing this is I'm going to be using a program called AOMEI Partition Manager. So that is this one right here. Or Partition Assistance. You can get this for free. I have the, the paid version. Yes, I have the paid version. And we're going to go right here, and we're going to format this by right clicking and do, do, do I like to go here let's go like this format right over top fat 32 I'm going to name it 3ds games still hope you guys can hear me all right <laughs> yeah I'm I'm, sli I'm sliding back and forth I'm testing this out I got two different mics so I fixed my office up a bit and we're going to click apply so that I have like a huge desk all the way across the whole room now and I'm able to do stuff on two different sides so yeah, let's wait till that formats. Let's see if we can still see this. Let's keep this on top. Okay. All right, so we formatted that successfully. Now it's just going to reload the disks. Just wait for it. So now we have this FAT32. So AOMEI Partition Manager. I'll put that in the link in the description later on. Now we're going to go to this website, this lovely website. We're just going to literally type in 3DS hack. It popped up at the top. And now we're going to go to the website. And we're going to start hacking this thing. So, what is custom firmware? Well, if you read all this, this is a hacking guide to follow word for word. Don't skip anything. Follow it word for word. I've hacked multiple of these devices in the past. It's been about five years since I probably hacked anything. So, let's continue to the key information, which is what we're going to be doing. And this is just going to basically say, hey, this is, this is all the compatible devices, which is basically every device nowadays on the 3DS and 2DS. Computer compatibility. Yes, you can do this on Android, which is awesome. Don't worry, the voice is fire. I hope so. <laughs> so also it says that you can use uh, like a micro SD card adapter, which is what we have right here. And uh, micro SD for the other the other devices. So the new uh, 3DS, new 2, 3DS XL, and new 2DS XL. These ones, they use like the bigger SD cards. Or you can just use a regular SD card. So yes, you can use a micro SD card. If you want to check your SD card for errors, follow these. You can use these, whatever. Potential risks, you can brick it. So just follow these all the way through. Make sure you copy everything the way that they say to. Uh, Windows only file extensions. Yeah, it'll be like a video format. That's what it says. But I'm not going to get into all that. Just literally follow this. Getting started. So this is saying power off your device, hold the select button, power on your device while still holding the select button. And if you do not see an unusual menu, which is basically just the Loomis 3DS configuration menu, then that means that your device isn't hacked. So sometimes if you buy something like this off of like a marketplace or something, it might already be hacked and they don't know that. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to quickly go follow this first step. Let's go power off the device here. Okay. So it's powered off, I think. Yeah, so hold the select button and power it on. So still holding select. It is powering on. So no crazy firmware or anything popped up. So great. Now we want to check out the system settings. So we already knew what the system was. So to double check, just make sure you double check this. It was 11.13. And that's what I'm going to do, actually. Yeah, that's nice. I don't know why I'm getting new stuff. That doesn't make any sense. So 11.13.45U. So make sure you click that. And now this is going to tell you what steps you're going to be using. So this one's saying um, if you have this version. So what was it? 11.13.45. 045U. So we're going to install Bootstrap. This is a hard mod. Requires a DS flash cart. 
otherwise requires a second hack 3DS copy with Mario Kart. So I'm going to be using Bootstrap, which is a hard mod. Or no, no, I'm not going to be using that. I'm going to be using requires compatible DS flash card. Huh. That wasn't like that before. Maybe this is something that changed recently. You used to be able to do it with a different method. 11.13. Point zero forty five, and we said you, right? Yeah. Requires a second hack 3DS and a copy of Mario Kart 7. Requires a compatible DS flash card. So let's let's try NTR boot. So installing Bootstrap with NTR boot requires a compatible flash card to flash NTR boot to. Note that some of these flash cards are sold pre-flash with NTR boot. While the NTR boot exploit, so like an R4, R, I guess an R4 card. That's interesting. This is completely new and different than what I'm used to. Um, R4 card, so any of these R4 cards. So I'm assuming, like I have an R4 card, so... That is one thing you're going to need. That's different though. Like that wasn't like that before. They must have changed the way that you could do this. Let's change it to 40U. I don't want to do any soldering. What happened? What's going to happen after you hack it? Well, what you're going to do is just get a whole bunch of games and start playing them. <laughs> you can get a whole bunch of games for it. Uh, you can get backup games and everything. But there used to be an other, another method, but maybe this is not going to work anymore with that method. So let's re let's re put this back in 11.13.0. 45 U. Okay. Alternate methods. If possible, you should follow the methods given by the prompt above. So that's the thing about this site. Like, it, it's... It doesn't make any sense sometimes. Alternate methods. So alternate methods. Otherwise, methods that work on all versions are available but requires additional hardware. System model is required. Oh. We didn't select the system model. Derp. Okay. <laughs> that is why. So see, like, this this website is a little bit tricky at first. It's been a while, like I said. It's been, like, five years. But, yeah, so the latest release is the safe B9S installer, direct download, bootstrap, Loomis, universal app. So what I did there, guys, is just basically, let's go back to the get started page. So you have to actually select which model you're actually doing. So I'm selecting this checkbox because it's that model. And those other methods, those are just methods if you want to hard mod it. So 1113, my bad. So see, this is going to be fun. This is going to be fun for everybody. So it's going to show you, like, if you're not reading properly, then that's why you're having issues. <laughs> Even Minecraft, well, that's only on the new 3DS. Uh, I don't have the new 3DS yet. So that would be pretty cool, actually, if I can get one of those and play Minecraft on there. Do maybe like a live on that or something. That'd be kind of interesting. But yeah. So what we need. We need the latest version of Safe B9S installer. So open link in new tab. It's going to download. Bootstrap. Open, open link in new tab. Loomis. Open link in new tab. And yeah, we're going to download that file right here. And open link in new tab, which is just this bin file, other app. Okay, so it's telling us, power off your device, insert your SD card into your computer. Okay, it's already done. Copy the other bin or other app. So let's power off our device. So I'm going to show you that. Power this off. Okay. We've already inserted our SD card into our computer. Now, we're going to open up our file manager. We're going to go into our 3DS games folder. And we're going to open this. We're going to show in folder to see where it is. So this other bin, other app.bin, we're going to copy it. Oh, you guys can't see that. So there we go. Now you can see that. So I copied that over to that folder or that SD card there. All right. So we did that. 
and rename it to arm11code.bin. Okay. So following this word for word, like I said, every uh, 3DS is going to have something different. But following this word for word is the major thing that you want to do. And I've told people that before in the past. So we rename that arm11code.bin. All right. The root of the SD card refers to the initial directory on your card where you can see the Nintendo 3DS folder but are not inside of it. If you do not see the bin extension, do not add it to the end of the file name. Now, okay, so copy boot.firm and from the Loomis folder. Okay, so let's go open up Loomis. I think program is fun because of mistakes and you gotta start over from the beginning. Yeah, programming is pretty fun. Like I do a lot of programming too, right? So uh, you probably see my other channel um the the main one for coding and stuff i haven't really been active on there a little bit lately but <clears throat> uh, i'm going to be adding more videos to that soon so copy boot firm and boot from the loomis to the root of your sd card all right let's do that right now so that's our sd card this is the two files we're going to copy them over all right so we did that okay Create a folder named bootstrap on the root of your SD card. Okay, boot 9s strap. All right, let's go new folder, copy and paste, make sure there's no spaces at the end or anything. All right, so we did that. Bob's your uncle. Okay, copy the bootstrap firm and bootstrap firm sh from the bootstrap zip, so the zip is right here, to the bootstrap folder. All right. So that's pretty simple. Let's copy that. Go into the bootstrap folder and paste it. All right. So we have all of this stuff in here now. Okay. Now copy the safe BNS installer bin to the root of your SD card as well. Okay. Hmm. So we only need the bin file, I think. But so only says copy this, the bin from the safe zip to your root of your SD card power on your device. All right, follow it step by step, right? So if that's what it says, we have all of these files now. Okay, so that is good, I hope. All right. <laughs> Now let's reinsert our SD card and power on the device. In this section, we're going to change the internet connection settings. All right, so let's jump back over to the other mic here. And now we're going to take this, pop this in here, and pop this in there. And it's upside down, this way. All right, just like that. So now it says, what do we do? We do power on your device. All right, we're powering it on. Okay. In this section, you'll change your internet connection settings to proxy network design bypass the browser version. Okay. Launch system settings application. All right. System settings. We're launching it right now, boys and girls. <laughs> okay. Now we're going to navigate to the internet settings right here. Connection settings. And click on your network connected connection slot and navigate to change the settings. Okay. So I'm connected. Now proxy settings. No, change settings. Next page, proxy settings, all right. Set proxy to yes, then click detailed setup. Detailed setup. All right, now set the proxy server to 1.192. So 192 dot nine dot two three four dot 11. And then we're going to change this port to 80, 80, 8080. Okay. 
Click OK, then click Save. Okay. Save. Okay. Test connection. Cross our fingers. <laughs> Says connection failed. Here are the details of the error. Did not connect. You may have been entering correctly. Check the settings. Internet settings. There may be a problem with the network. The access points have been configured incorrectly. Okay. Well, when prompted, click test to perform a connection test. The test should succeed. Click OK. Well, it didn't succeed. So, let's test again. <laughs> no girls. Oh, okay. <laughs> Whatever. Boys and girls are allowed. <laughs> All right, let's go back in here. And that's what I mean. Like we're going to we're going to see what the heck's going on here. So, proxy settings. Yes, detailed setup. 192 9.234.11 Now let's let's cancel this for a second. Maybe we need to have an internet connection first. So let's actually Oh wait. My internet on? Yeah, my internet's on. Okay. Um Does it say we have to go to new connection? Navigate to the internet connection setting. Click on your network connection slots and navigate to change settings. Hmm. Can you use without the pen? Why? You don't like my pen? <laughs> um, manual setup. Let's go back. Let's, let's delete these settings. New connection. Manual setup, search for access points. Cause it's not even showing that I was connected to the internet up there either. So maybe that's what the problem was. So I'm going to use this one and I'm going to put in my password here. So I'm going off screen for a minute. Apple cheese crumble five, seven, two, four, four. That's not actually my uh, password, by the way, guys. I've been saved testing connection. All right, we're going to test the connection. So we have internet. Okay, so the internet is actually active now. So before it wasn't actually active for whatever reason. Maybe it's because I changed my password. Hello? Work? Do, 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 do. Nintendo. All right, let's, uh, I don't know what this says. <laughs> I don't read that. I don't know what that means. I'm gonna I'm gonna go to Google Translate. All right, connection successful. Great, awesome. All right, let's go to that connection. Change settings. Proxy settings. Yes, detailed setup. All right, so make sure you have a connection. 192. Dot... Okay, so 192.9.234.11. Okay, and. 80 80 okay save test cross your fingers this time let's see it's 
still keep saying connection failed. Maybe it's supposed to be port 18080. One eighty eighty. Let's try that. Still nothing. All right. Well, that part's not going to work because why? So let's do what we do best. We have to search Google. So, Google, help. <laughs> so, basically, this step, launch system settings, section two, is not really allowing us to connect. So, 192.9.234.11 and port 8080, click save. When prompted, click test. The test should succeed. Click OK to continue. Press back twice and close and go home. Now, maybe this is not going to work for whatever reason. I don't know why it's not working. So we're going to Google it. So sloth um, network 3ds not connecting. Troubleshooting. Troubleshooting. All right, so this is the actual page. Installing Bootstrap, Sloth, Launcher, finalizing. Yes, I skim a lot of stuff. Okay, well, that's not working either. Now, we're going to go... What do you think we should search? Google help got me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, so, could not connect. The weird thing is that it's not letting me. Proxy settings. One nine two dot nine. Okay. Is basic save oh oh okay maybe maybe we got it I don't know if you guys can hear me so we got internet up there I think it's because of where my uh, router is. It's not connecting to my router. Should have another router upstairs, I think. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Did not connect. Come on. All right, I'm gonna try something, guys. Just give me two seconds. All right, we got the internet connected, or the the connections there. You can see in the top left hand side. I think it's just because I'm uh, really far away. I might have to plug in another router upstairs quickly here. So it's staying connected up there. Still not letting me connect though. That just doesn't make any sense. Network may be busy, or there may be a problem with the connection. Change settings. Let's go. Don't test. Connection test. Well, it's connecting to the access point, but it's not connecting to the internet. Three DS won't connect to the internet. Three DS hack.
Okay, let's go connection, test, build, 3DS hack. Fix 3DS homebrew errors by Chak Sorrel. Of course. This isn't going to work, guys. The struggle is real. It's been 30 minutes and we still haven't done it. All right, we're going to do what I said I was going to do. I'm going to actually connect another router into my office, so it'll be two minutes. <laughs> all right so i'm gonna try this now guys um i got another router plugged in i'm just gonna go over here so this is gonna be a long process like it's connecting to the router but it's not connecting to the internet so i don't know what the heck that is all about so let's try this again let's go new connection manual setup search for access points And yeah, this one. I don't remember my password for this one. Hmm. I'm gonna see if that's it. All right. Okay, so connection was successful. So that's my router that's in my office now. We're going to go to that connection. We're going to go change settings. Proxy settings. Yes. Detailed setup. Server. So 192. Dot. What the heck was it? 9. Dot. 234.11. The struggle is real. Okay. Save. Test. Do, 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 do. Come on, work. Still doesn't want to connect, so it keeps failing. So this method's not going to work. Check your computer, connect, yeah, whatever, DNS, proxy server. Change settings. MTU value, I don't know honestly what even enter there so i'm wondering if this method won't work anymore 192 19234 <laughs> translate this i i will translate it later <laughs> port 8080 let's go 888 let's go to that port i'm just gonna mess around with this let's go save test
still doesn't want to work. So I follow those steps. Um, obviously, I'm connected to the internet, but these proxy settings do not want to work. So detailed setup, we did 8080. So I'm going to try something else. More Google. How to fix common errors. All right. Well, maybe. Here we go. I'm stuck here. All right. We got a post. You probably can't hear me because my mic's all the way over there. There we go. Are you going to be surprised when you translate it? Probably. <laughs> I hope it says nothing bad. Please keep in mind, prior blah, 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 whatever you're following out of date method, you should follow the method outlined here. Okay. Well, that's nice. Into the file. Are you waiting for homebrew? I'm missing you. Know, do you have a fix? Because you got stuck. Link to reference YouTube detected. Well, maybe we should update our 3DS. How do you, how do we update it? Let's update it. Let's update it. We're going to update it. Screw it. Hopefully that works. Let's update it. All right. Let's get rid of this old method because this method obviously isn't working anymore. And we're going to go and uh, change settings. We're going to get rid of these proxy settings. Say no. Okay. And we're going to ignore everything I did at the beginning. So let's test this. Okay, now we don't have internet. All right, well, that's cool, I guess. Delete settings. Delete settings. <laughs> A new connection. No, I don't want a tutorial. I know how to connect. Let's search for access points. I'm going to set this all up quickly here. Hopefully you can still hear me all the way over here. Okay, I'm just going to log into my router. That doesn't make any sense. We were connected earlier, guys. Okay, let's connect to my other router then. What is going on? Do I have internet? Are you guys actually able to see me? Let's log into this one. It's obviously picking up the other one, so it had nothing to do with that. So obviously we're going to want to actually update our 3DS to the latest firmware. Yeah, we're going to upgrade it. We're going we're gonna to update it. I don't know. <laughs> now it doesn't want to connect to the internet at all. Let's restart this thing. Yeah, software closed. The live is going amazing, isn't it? So this thing is, it, it, it's a struggle. So like, it, it's something that can follow how to do it, but... I don't know. Like I said, I haven't done this in like five years, so it's been a while, but like this doesn't make any sense. It won't connect. No. It's almost like being dumb. Internet settings. Connection settings. 
We are connected. Action two. Action test. And it still doesn't want to connect to the internet. That does not make any sense. All right. Well, I'm back on the left mic. I'm going to do something quick here on the other side of my screen. So basically what I'm doing right now is I'm going to log into my router. And look for my device. And unplug this other router like that get rid of that other router goodbye threw it on the ground <laughs> let's test this again all right it's not connecting so give me a second uh... I'm just trying to test it again. I'm just trying to reconnect. All right, that connected finally. So it it seems like it's buggy or something. I don't know. It's like the internet does not want to connect for whatever stupid reason, and then it does. So I don't know if that's because of where I am. I have no idea. Let's try this proxy setting thing one more time. Maybe that'll work if i leave it right there let's leave it right there let's go back over here this is so tedious i thought this was going to take like 15 minutes and it's taking way longer change settings proxy settings yes detailed setup 192.9.2 Pretty sad that I remember that number now. Port 8080. Try it. If this doesn't work, we're going to update the, the system and try the latest version. Oh, we did it. All right, it worked. So this must be an intermittent issue thing, or internet thing. So that worked. That worked, guys. Yes. All right. I'm going to leave the 3DS just right there. I know you can't really see it. <laughs> so now, on the home menu, press the left, right shoulder buttons at the same time to open the camera. If you're unable to open the camera, open the internet browser and manually type in this website right here. All right. Tap the QR code. This is the QR code. So that's the QR code. All right. So let's go home. Got internet, I think. I don't know. Maybe I should just leave both mics going. I don't know how echoey that is. Is that echoey? <laughs> um, what did it say? On the home button, press the left and right shoulder buttons. All right. Activating camera. We got a camera. Preparing. Let's see if the camera works. Yeah, camera's working. And then... If you get there, tap the QR button, scan. Okay, is that the QR button? Yeah. URL found. Okay. Do we want to launch the internet? Yeah, I guess so. All right, so 
You guys couldn't see that, but basically I just scanned it. Welcome to the internet browser. Okay. 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 I scanned it with my thing. I'm going to use Google as my search engine. All right. If you get in the area, follow the troubleshooting again. If you get security, okay. tap the proceed to hacks. All right. All right, so it says tap the proceed to hacks. All right. We're almost getting there, guys. We're almost, we're going to do it. Uh-oh, blew up. I'm just kidding. Initializing, please wait. All right, we're checking the SD card. Didn't have to do anything special. To install a firmware. All right, so all the input is good. So we're going to go left, down, right, up, A. Just follow that the way it says. We're doing it. We're doing it. We didn't have to do any updating or anything. Press A to continue. All right. Now, enable game patching, loading firmwares. Yeah, this isn't needed in most cases. Enable overriding the region. So this is something that I'm going to want to use later on. So we're going to override the region for both of the other one as well. Also make certain DLCs, okay. Show in the end, okay. Show GBA boot screen and patched AGB. Enable showing the boot screen when booting GBA games. Sure, why not? All right. And then click start to save. Okay. Forty-seven minutes trying to learn or relearn how to hack this thing again. And is it hacked? I don't know. Is it? <laughs> all right, so we went through all that stuff. What is this? Unwrap. Okay, cool. What the heck did I just do? Installing Bootstrap, input, press, okay. Loomis configuration menus, settings. Many of these settings may be useful for configuring, okay. Boot into Loomis by default. An error has occurred. Please make a note of the error. All right. At this point, your console will boot into Loomis by default. It does not look any different from the normal home screen. If your console has a boot in menu, it is running custom firmware. On the next page, you'll uninstall or install useful homebrew applications to complete your setup. All right, well, let's let's do that. Let's let's follow that. I don't know what this is. Cool demo available. Eshop is currently suspended. Would you like to relaunch it? No. All right, so let's go to our system settings. Like it says, yeah, just suspend it. Did you get it? <laughs> Not yet. No, it's taking forever. Connection settings. Connection to. Change settings. Proxy settings. Press no. Save. Now we're going to test it. Let's see if we can get internet back again. Okay. No, click OK when prompted test. Yeah, OK. Now let's go to the finalizing the setup section. And it just doesn't want to connect to that router. I don't know why. Test again. We'll just keep testing this until it works. There we go. All right, that worked this time. See, it's just an intermittent issue. Make sure you're sitting by a router. All right, the file boot firm is what launched the bootstrap itself. After launching it, finish loading off the NAND as just Loomis to patch the device, allowing it to run homebrew software. On this page, we will file backups, install the following homebrew applications FBI Launcher, Anomalous 3SDK, un Undupdate, God Mode, Homebrew Launcher, Compatibility Notes. All right, well what you need we're going to open this in a new tab and we'll download it we're going to download everything that it says to download all the cia files homebrew launcher wrapper 
All right, universal updater. Sure, let's get it all. FBI, yep, yeah, not the actual FBI. God mode. And zip, make sure you download the zip, not the source code. Okay, preparation work. Power off your device, insert your SD card into your computer, create a folder named C CIA, is on the root of your SD card. All right, well, we're gonna power off the device again. <laughs> Why did I just say FBI? Power off, would ya? This has been the most tedious modding thing I've ever done in my life. Like, I've modded multiples of these. I used to actually charge people to mod these things, and it never took me this long. So we're taking out the SD card. We're going to put it back into our computer. Maybe. Hopefully that worked. Yeah, there it is right there. All right, let's follow the instructions. What does it say here, ladies and gentlemen? We have... To make a folder on the root of my SD card called CIAs. All right, CIAs. Copy all the CIA files. All right, we're going into the CIA and the FBI, and we're going to copy them. So let's close this window for a second. Show in folder. I'm going to actually close out all my folders for a second because I have so many open right now. Okay, let's go show in folder. Now we're going to open up my 3DS... Games file folder. All right, so we're going to copy FBI. Now, what I'm going to do is look for all the CIA files. Where are they? Let's go type. There we go. <laughs> this is the longest thing because you have an audience. You'll get it. Yeah, yeah, that's, I'll probably be able to master this again. Uh, homebrew launcher, yeah, we want to put that in there. Basically all this. Let's just copy all of this over. All these CIA files. Replace, yeah, sure. Alright, there we go. So we got all the CIA files. And the uh, that's just basically the extension. Create a folder named 3DS on the root of your XD. Okay. Or SD card. So the root is just basically this. So we're going to name this 3DS. Oops. All right, sounds good to me there, Bobby Jones. Now we're gonna copy the FBI 3DS to the 3DS folder. Um, what? <laughs> oh, it's right here, all right. I'll download that, okay. Show in folder. See, just copy and pasting things. It's just following this the way it says to do it. And paste that in there. All right. I think that worked. Hello. Did it work? Where is my folder? All right. Well, it's doing its thing, I guess. Yeah, it's in there. All right. Next. What do we do now there? 3dshack.com. Copy the God Mode firm from the God Mode zip. All right. Where's that God Mode zip? Right here. Hmm. Firm to create a folder named payloads. Oh, we missed a step. See, following the steps. We gotta follow these steps. You said the FBI again. <laughs> I hope they're not gonna knock on my door. Um open my folders, please. Alright, whatever. Let's just go back in here. Alright, we're gonna be naming a folder called payloads. Create a folder named payloads in the Luma folder on your SD card. Luma! Oh, we got a Luma folder now. Alright, let's create a new folder called payloads with no space. So payloads, alright. See, this is this is crazy. Luma folder, copy god mode, alright. Um, where is my zip file? Right here. Ah, so many folders open, I can't even like show you guys everything. Okay, so god mode firm. Not the sh dev one, just this one right here. Copy to payloads. Right? Let's double check. Check our resources.
Yep. Copy the GM9 folder from the God Mode zip to the root of your SD card. Okay. Let's go back. <laughs> Just copy and paste things. Yep. GM9 folder. Okay, so that's this one right here. Go to the root of our SD card. Paste it. Done. Now what? Reinsert your SD card into your device to power it on. Now the screenshots are going to show us what we should be seeing right now. So. Let's go back. Let's go back in. Does my thing look the same? Hmm. There's something different about mine because it's got these two things here, but okay. Let's just leave it at that. 3DS. We got boot nine strap. Um, that wasn't there before, but okay, let's just leave it. And Luma payloads, yeah, okay. All right, so the screenshots indicate the minimum SD card minimum is required to follow the page. You may have extra files or folders on your SD card. Oh, see, you might have extra files, depending on your previous setup or method that you followed. All right, now update your device by going to system settings, other settings, then going all the way to the right in system update. Update while using B9S, what you have are safe. The updater may display a message saying your system is up to date. Instead of updating, this is normal if you're already up to date. Oh, we're almost done, guys. And then we get to actually play some games, maybe. So, let's plug this back in. Let's, let's see what happens. Follow these steps. We're gonna unplug it from here. Here it is. Make sure we put it in the right way. Turn it on. Wait for it. And then let's follow the next steps. System settings, right? Okay. Other settings. All the way over. System update. Yeah. I accept. I'm um, good. Now we gotta hope that we can connect to the internet again. Ugh. Internet, you suck. It doesn't want to connect to the internet again. All right, let's go back, check our internet settings, connection settings, this one. I'm going to delete the first one because that one doesn't work anymore anyways. No, I don't want to change settings. I just want to check. Connected. See, it's got to be tilted a certain way. Because my, there we go, we got internet. All right. So this update thing should work. Got internet. Cross your fingers. Cross your fingers. What's the question? Ask away, because we have lots of time. <laughs> update and redisplay message is up to date instead of updating. This is normal. All right, so it's updating. All right.
Let's let it do its thing. Hopefully this works. I'm just gonna stay right here. I'm not gonna move. Cause maybe my my arms. Hey, that's weird. Every time I move my arm, it like changes the signal. Maybe I'm just a full Wi-Fi signal. Yeah, I right, I'm doing like the cost in the moment. I'm trying to get one. Nintendo Switch. Depends if you get a used one or not. Like Canadian, the brand new ones right now, I think are like three forty nine plus tax. We're ten percent. <laughs> I should have played some Minecraft while I was waiting for all this to happen. That would that would have been fun. Used ones? I, I don't know. Like I haven't really looked for any used ones. I've seen people selling just the Switch lights. For like two hundred dollars Canadian, and uh, and below like hundred and fifty to two hundred dollars depends on like I guess the condition and stuff. Regular Nintendo Switches, I people want to try to sell the whole bundle because they have like five hundred games and they try to get like eight hundred dollars because they got five hundred games with it. But I haven't really had to look for anything lately. Like I kind of just skim the marketplace and see what is out there because i was looking for a switch light but yeah that's that's something that's kind of hard it just depends on your location right yeah i guess i could translate where's that let me see what this says whatever that other guy said it was like mario or something i don't know <laughs> let's leave this here let's just leave that like that and let's go to google translate I forgot you guys could see me translating stuff. Translate. All right. Detect language. Arabic is very difficult, my friend. Is that what that said? <laughs> what is that other one? I don't even. I didn't even see what he said. Let's let's go back and see if we can find that. Right here. Auto detect. I like Mario. <laughs> I like Mario too. I love Mario. Let's let's get rid of Mario is Mario Mali Ma. <laughs> That's crazy. Let's get rid of I never heard of the like I like Rio. If you get rid of one one of these letters it, it changes it. Look at the change of it. I like Rio. That's doing its thing. We're just messing around on the internet now. Have you ever heard of the Google Translate? Like, I like O. Oh. <laughs> like, I like. Good. <laughs> that is nuts. Um, yeah, some like creepy translate stuff out there. Like, I'm not gonna do it right now, but I I watch some pretty weird stuff on the internet <laughs> and some uh, creepy things in the world where like there's like con conspiracies about translating stuff. Um, I'm going to go, I'm going to skip ahead a couple notches here. I think I have some of my games backed up and documents, my games, 3DS games. Yeah, I do have some games here. All right, cool. So as I have actual games too, got... These two, Donkey Kong, Super Mario Bros. We got a few more. But these are games that I actually backed up with my old 3DS. So these were saved onto my hard drive. And I saved them onto my computer just so that I could upload them. But this thing is taking a while. We're going to just wait. You are some pretty weird stuff on the internet. You're pretty weird. Bring me a taco. I'm hungry. 
Uh, I'm gonna get a drink of water. This is like the longest thing of life. I swear, look at it. The internet keeps changing to two to three bars. Every time I move. So if I like sit right here, I'm gonna sit. There. No. Three bars. Yeah, three bars. I'm gonna, I have to sit like with my one arm in the air. <laughs> it's Minecraft time. Oh, halfway there. All right. While I'm doing that, hopefully this doesn't mess up the internet thing. You guys can still see this thing trying to do its thing. Minecraft launcher. <laughs> well, well, it's going faster now. It's literally going faster now. It's like you're not allowed to play Minecraft. You're doing a hack. One hour and seven minutes. Yeah, we still have our world. Don't worry about that. An error occurred. Unable to update. The system will now be restarted. <laughs> See, it messed it up. Oh, what the heck. Okay, let's let's try this again. Update your system. If this gives you an error, set your proxy settings to this follow. Okay. Let's try this again. Like I said, it's probably the internet. It's just the internet being dumb. Yeah, it's still at that. Okay, let's try this again. It's updating now again. And I'm going to change this to not that. Because I want to keep an eye on this. Well, let's play some Minecraft for a few minutes. Let's go back to our world. This is our world. I know what I'm doing. Accept you on Discord. Oh yeah, I think you said something about that. I haven't, I can't do that right now because I'm using my phone as a camera. Um, let's go to bed. An error occurred again. Like, it just keeps doing this. Keep trying this until it doesn't air. Troubleshooting. Come on, pick up the internet. All right, let's try this again. Let's see if this works again. Okay, completed. Good. We did it. Alright. Now we can't play Minecraft for a minute. Let's let's just pause this and maybe leave for a second. <laughs> the home rule launcher. Launch the download play application. Alright. Next section is gonna be started. Press left shoulder plus D-pad down plus select at the same time. So 
Left shoulder, D-pad. Okay. Now, so every time you move the internet, it starts vibing. Yeah, I don't know why. <laughs> uh, miscellaneous options. Then select the current app. Switch to current app. Okay. Operation succeeded. Press B to continue. Press B to return to Rosalina main menu. Exit. Okay. Press home and then close download and play. Close. says it should launch homebrew launcher but it's not launch the download and play oh launch it again okay oh there we go we did it we got homebrew launcher guys we got it <laughs> if your dice gets stuck on the loading splash screen you're missing boot whatever Okay, now left, in this section you'll sync your internal clock with the actual time, which is necessary for some homebrew software to sound properly. So we're gonna go left shoulder, e-pad down and select. Miscellaneous options. Dump DSP firmware, okay. Written to the 3DS, okay, on the SD card. Select nullify. User time offset. Operation succeeded. Press B. Press B. Press B again. All right. Installing CIAs. Launch FBI from the list of homebrew. Okay. Cool. So launch FBI from the list of homebrew. Navigate. Yeah, well, we're already here. Okay, select current directory. We're in FBI now. Maybe he should have superpower. I probably do. <laughs> select to the install and delete all CAI options. Select install. So we're going to go down to SD card. We're going to go to the CIA's thing and options. So we're going to go install and delete all CAA options. Select current directory. Oh, current directory. Install and delete all CIAs. Okay. All right. All right. Follow the follow the uh, the FBI all the way around the world. <laughs> all right. Let's just let it do its thing. Okay. We're we're almost there. We're not playing Minecraft right now. <laughs> it doesn't want us to do that. Like, there's so many more steps to do here. Like, okay, well, no, we're almost done. We're, we're getting there. Two out of five. All right, it's got two out of five. Yeah, having a big micro SD card is a major must as well. And making sure that you're close to the internet or your internet's working properly. I don't know what's going on with mine. Install complete. Perfect. All right, so that's all good. All right, now home, press home and close the download to play. All right, close. Now we have new software. So all this new software here is just all the stuff that we just installed. Universal updater, homebrew launcher. So that's the main homebrew launcher now. FBI launcher, which is perfect. That's where we're going to actually install all our games or use this to install our games and other things. And 3DS theme manager. So you, theme manager, so you can change your theme of your 3DS. So I'm going to change this to that. Really small. Look how small that is. Eh, a little bit bigger. 
But yeah, you can move this stuff around, right? So I'm going to put, like, my FBI right here. Homebrew launcher is probably going to be at the beginning as well. And all this other stuff, I don't really care about. Settings. All right, so now we have homebrew launcher. Let's follow the next section, which is section six. In this section, you'll script copy the Loomis files to your internal memory so that they can be accessed even without an SD card inserted. So power off your device. Okay. And then press and hold start while holding start power on the device. This will launch God mode. All right, we're going to launch God mode. <laughs> So start button, okay, and power. God mode, oh yeah. All right, we're in God mode. Okay, so now if you do not boot into God mode, ensure, okay, if you're prompted to create an essentials backup, press A to do so. Well, that's what it says. It says that right here. Press A, okay. Fix the RTS, backup embedded, and written out. Press A to continue. Good. All right. So nothing else is it said nothing else, at least. Press home to bring up the action menu. You're prompted to fix. Okay. Press home. Select scripts. All right. Everything's at the top. Go to scripts at the bottom. I know it's very hard to see. Okay, now we're going to go scripts. Eh. Set up Loomis to Citrus NAN. Oh, yeah, GM9 mega script. So following this guide, <laughs> scripts from palette. All right, it's all the way down at the bottom. Okay. And then when prompt to press A to proceed. So we're going to want to do setups Loomis 3ds to see it's just nine, which is the top one. Press A, press A again. Now down, right, down, up, A. Okay, it's been copied successfully. Perfect. So that means that we don't have to have an SD card in here for it to actually work. So clean up your SD card. So in this section, you'll use a script to remove some unnecessary files from your SD card. Select clean up SD card. Okay. So clean up SD card. Okay. SD card now squeaky clean from the setup files. Okay. Done. Backup essential files. In this section, you'll make a backup of the files. Like backup options. Okay. Um, Backup options at the beginning there. Okay, so we did that. And then we're going to go... Is this NAND backup? Yeah. At least one gigabyte. All right, so it's going to do its thing. It's going to do a backup. So this is just basically if you end up bricking your device, you can save this to your computer, I'm, I'm assuming. If you get an error, look for your issue. Okay, press A to continue. So, like, the beginning steps were kind of hard, but we got it. We're getting it. We're getting there. It says it's going to take about 3 minutes and 36, 35 seconds, whatever. So let's just set that down. I'm going to take another drink of water. Can't believe this is taking this long, though. <laughs> I thought it was going to be like a 15-minute thing. Uh, one gigabyte. Yeah, that's why like I, they say to give you like a... At least 256 gigabytes would be best. 128 is really good. Because even your game files, like some of your game files for 3DS games, like this one was 2 gigs. Super Mario Maker, 365 megabytes, 455, 2 gigs for Donkey Kong. So I'm going to probably put a couple of these on the SD card afterwards and we're going to test it out.
It's almost done. Almost done. So, in regards to live Minecraft, I might go back live tomorrow on Sunday just as a bonus thing. Yeah, like mid afternoon for about an hour. And then next Saturday, I won't be able to go live again because I'm going to be away. But I'm going to try to go live again soon. I might even change it to just like random times during the week um, because I have some other videos that I'm going to be sharing on this channel. But yeah, I'm going to be sharing like a tutorial on how to hack our Japanese 3DS that we ended up. I did a review about the other day. I think that'll be fun. But it's not going to be a one and a half hour long video it's just going to be me basically telling you hey follow these steps and if it doesn't work just keep trying until it works or if you want to refer to this video you can because like i said the struggle is real when it comes to this kind of stuff and whatever was going on with the internet that that was the biggest issue right so but yeah tomorrow for sure i will go on minecraft again in the afternoon uh like mid two o'clock ish again and we'll play for about an hour or so because i haven't really played in a while i know it's just sitting here <laughs> teasing you but i want to just get this done i want to see what we can do with this thing after i'm going to close that out for now and it says 34 seconds then we can skip to the next spot Green is very, very dim. Like it's hard to see. Oh, there we go. That's why. Ninety-seven percent. Ninety-eight percent. Almost there. And created successfully. Press A to continue. Perfect. All right. Now we're going to press B. And if prompted, navigate to Cisnan Virtual. Okay, we're going to exit. Yeah, write permissions. Okay, there's that write permissions thing. Press A. Cisnan Virtual. It's at the top now. And then we're going to go press A on Essentials, E, X, E, F. Okay. Then select Copy. This. If you see Destination Run Exist, press A and Overwrite Files. Destination Run Exist. Okay. Overwrite Files. All right. Okay. Action Menu. Okay, select the power off system. Okay. Now insert our SD card into our computer. All right, so the system is powered off now. Okay. Well, let's follow these steps. We got so many steps to do. I actually find this stuff fun. Because, like, I see so many people complain that they can't get this done, but just keep trying. I don't know. It's giving you the opportunity to have free games. <laughs> Cough. All right. So, now we have this back into our computer. Is it reading it? I don't know. Nope, not reading it. Yeah, it's reading it. That's no, not. Yes, it is. There it is right there. All right, so it says we have to copy a file. We're almost there. Copy, date. So insert your SD card, copy, serial number something. I'm gonna put this over here for a second. So inside of our G9, out folder oh okay yeah there's this gm9 out folder this is my serial number and whatever so we're going to copy these backups to our computer so i'm going to copy these and then i'm going to go to my external sd i'm going to go to documents 
my games, and then I'm going to go create a new folder called Important 3DS Backups. Save it to your computer. This is going to be a big file again because that's just that file that we just saved. I'm going to stop that right mic. Yeah, it's almost done. It's it, it's looking pretty good. I would uh here, let's see. What we got? A setup. Got to do some painting and put some window trim and stuff. But yeah, that's that's about it. Got all my random modification stuff over here. Fallout stuff because I love Fallout and my random stuff back there. <laughs> There's the setup, a little sneak peek of the setup. Let's put this back. <laughs> yeah, it's it actually opened up the whole room pretty good. It makes it look a lot bigger. So basically. Copy these files. These backups will save you from a brick or help you recover files from the NAN image if anything goes wrong in the future. Delete these files from the GM out folder after you've copied them. The other backup files are negligible, negligible in size and may be kept. If you have it, copy the Loomis backups folder on your SD card to the safe location on your computer as well, which I'm going to do, I guess. Loomis backups. All right, go here too. Might as well copy that as well. Now reinsert it back into there. Your custom firmware is now done. And what we could do, since it's gonna be done, we're gonna wait for this. We're gonna go to our CIA. So this is where we're gonna put our game files. And I'm gonna copy Zelda because it's the smallest one and got Donkey Kong for now and Super Smash Brothers probably gonna tell me that there's too many actions going oh no that's good all right let's just wait for that to all copy and then we're gonna check it out see if it works followed is one of my favorite games <laughs> I used to play it like it was my day job I should get I should do that as a, a live stream, just play in Fallout. I never did finish Fallout 4, like the actual mean storyline. I played all of the other storylines and like not all of them, but a lot of them. I used to get distracted in Fallout 4 with just building random bases and stuff, like for hours. Probably because I was addicted to Minecraft. I don't know. But yeah. Let's just wait for this. Let's go back. It's copying Zelda right now. It's copying Zelda, Smash Bros. That's two gigs. That's two gigs. Ah, skip this file for now. We'll just do these two games just to see it going. What did I copy? Zelda and Smash Bros. Right, okay. So yeah, basically what this is allowing us to do is just put custom firmware on our 3DS in the end and we can get games from maybe friends that have games. And uh, yeah, you want to look for CIA files or 3DS files and then I'm going to show you what to do next so that we can actually play them. Two hours later. Oh, we gotta follow that last step. It says something about deleting that firmware too. No, not that one. Delete the data. Yeah, okay. So we'll delete that because that's just taking up space on our actual device. So let's go in here, out, and the bin. 
just these two don't delete the other one just delete these two these are just your backup files so just delete those off the sd card so that you have extra room on there just like it says and then after this is copied we're going to jump back over and hopefully play something quick So it is a long process, I know. Look how big I can make this. I can make this huge. You guys could watch me play Nintendo 3DS. Mm. <laughs> uh. I know this has been a long, long process. Uh, I'm, I'm thankful for whoever jumped in here and whoever's still in here, Villager, you're like my top fan right now. <laughs> you're the only one that like pops into my live streams right away which is awesome i really appreciate that really helps out a lot because like i do want to get this channel going like i actually want like i see that this channel is almost we've almost reached a thousand subs i got something special i'm going to share when we, i reach a thousand subs because maybe at that point i can actually start working on the channel a little bit more and on the side as a you know side job slash hobby kind of thing still i kind of get discouraged a little bit i'm gonna let you know that because i just kind of do this as a fun thing kind of thing but uh you know i have a day job too and right now i am just kind of winging it trying out things with the youtube stuff because i've always loved youtube and always loved you know what youtube is all about uh, it's just interesting to see how everything works out when you actually have people that want to watch you <laughs> really appreciate it all right we're almost there okay this is just basically deleting that file right now i think or no it's copying smash bros smash bros is pretty big but i have an actual copy of smash bros too still uh... I'm winner. I don't know where my games are. Uh, yeah, I don't know where my games are. I put them somewhere because I moved everything around. They're probably in a box somewhere still. I haven't fully finished my room yet, but it's almost done. <laughs> well you are the number one you you do pop in a lot hey there we go i can do full screen there we go my phone's getting pretty warm right now like that's my phone that's actually using this it's a pretty cool software that i found oh hurry up so slow about three minutes left i just want to play want to play maybe i can find my games within that time frame Pokemon pins. I can't even see those. Random box of Pokemon pins. <laughs> Got my little Fallout character on my desk. Ah, just knocked the mic. My bad. Hey, my cat's outside. I can see him. Almost done. Hurry up. Two more minutes. People want to see me play this thing. See if it actually worked. Custom firmware is now fully configured. So, like, it is possible to do this, guys. It's just something that you have to follow. Just follow all of this stuff. Keep trying. So, the major thing that you want to make sure, um, I'm going to go over that, is selecting this, selecting the actual device firmware that you're currently on. Mine was 13 and 45U. Confirm. And then follow these steps. So we're going to download all this stuff, follow the prep work steps, copying all these files properly. And then this part was what gave us grief. Easter? Oh, Easter is a holiday in Canada, I think. I don't know if it's... I, I thought Easter was like a holiday everywhere. It's a, just a holiday about Jesus. It's <laughs> basically what the holiday is about. Um... Yeah, it's uh, 
following these internet this internet connection thing i think this was just because of where my router is and the wi-fi adapter inside of the 3ds is probably not the best for the time that it was it i don't know like i'm only getting like one to two bars at best unless i sit near it so following that step is a must make sure that you have internet make sure you followed all that and then following this section right here too you can enter the actual website but if you can't if you can't scan it just follow that website otherwise follow this qr code follow the proceed to hacks button and then we're going to install bootstrap like we did restoring the default proxy settings which i did do that as well and then the finalizing which is a lot of different stuff as well following all of these steps grabbing all of these cia files the 3ds x file like it said and the zip file and following what files you're actually going to be copying because there are other files in those folders but you don't need them so going through all that and like this says you might have extra files depending on the setup that you use because this is just a generic setup guide for the end ending of your system and then updating your system making sure that you have your system updated after and then installing homebrew launcher and going from there and now because that file has copied over we're going to double check cias we got super smash bros and super or legend of zelda we're going to try legends of zelda first so let's go back over here and check it out let's see if we can play a game quick let's pop this back in here right like that this has been the longest thing of life turn this on hopefully we didn't break it All right, so there we go. So now we're gonna wanna go into FBI, I remember that. And this is where we're gonna install our games. So we're gonna go in here. We copied those games over. Screen's a little bit dirty. We're gonna go to the SD card, go to our CIAs, and then we're gonna grab Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. So this is giving you an option to either install it and delete it or install it. So I'm just going to install and delete it because I want it to install right to the actual SD card. Press A and then let's just wait for it to do its thing. So this does take a few minutes to actually install so that's why I'm only going to do one game and then I'm going to show you the game running. No, nope, but today it was a holiday in Morocco. What was the holiday in Morocco? Today's a Saturday. Or is it Sunday in your what what time what day is it you in Morocco? <laughs> I know it's different time zones, but Yeah, Easter was last weekend, right? Yeah, last weekend. That's why I was away. And then I have multiple birthdays this month too. So, like, that's important to us. We're at 100 megabytes. This is actually looking pretty good. Like, I'm actually surprised how good this camera is. I know the bouncing kind of sucks. I want to get one of those different tripod stands, but, like, this is not that crazy. Ooh. Quality is good, I think. some reason just stop my background music there we go oh it's not my birthday <laughs> it's other people other people on my family's birthday Thank you. Thank you for the happy birthday. My birthday was in January. <laughs> 211. Halfway there. 
So what this is going to do is it's going to install it to the actual device itself. And then we can play it without having to worry about reinstalling it again. It's just basically like you're downloading the game from the eShop that was, you know, a thing back in the day. That just closed recently. Whoa! This camera on this thing is crazy. Look at this. <laughs> let's let's zoom in as far as we can. Let's see all the dust. Installing CIAs. <laughs> Tell me something new about Canada. Nothing new about Canada that I know of. <laughs> ah, this is late. Did you know A? We say A a lot in Canada. So I guess A means sorry. <laughs> Almost there. We can actually play a game after an hour and 42 minutes. After our technical difficulties. But yeah, basically what you can do after is just put a whole bunch of modded software on here. You can play Game Boy Advance games, Nintendo DS games. You can play Nintendo 3DS games, which is your main purpose of this. Because, like, I have that R4 card, and that'll still work after this is modified, I'm hoping at least. And yeah, that's, that's basically the gist of why we want to do this today. And the reason why I wanted to do it live just to see like how much of a struggle it is if you haven't done this in a while or haven't done it ever. Um, but it wasn't really an issue with the actual setup part. It was just the issue with the actual internet. But look at the internet bars. They keep dropping up and down. So it, it's got to be something to do with the actual device maybe itself too. But like my, my router is down in my living room. And I don't have, I have just all hardwired connections up in my office. So let's go we're gonna get there so after we install this we're gonna play it for a couple seconds just to see it running but that's it i'm not gonna play any longer and then i'm gonna shut this down because i need to go eat lunch i haven't really eaten anything today. well there we go home close new software has been added that's gonna be our game let's open it up And there it is. Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Live. Press start. And everything works great. This is crazy. I know. So now we can play. That's not my name. My name is Mr. D and A. Yes. So the game just plays the way you want it to. Isn't this awesome? This is our file. Start. And let's watch the intro. Hope you enjoyed today. I hope everybody that just jumps in later on enjoys watching the struggle. But this is how you mod your 3DS in 2023. And the game works just like it's supposed to. Let's see if the 3D works. Look at the 3D does work. It looks a little bit weird on the camera, but... I'm not a fan of the 3D part of this myself either. It hurts my eyes. <laughs> but there, there's the 3D working. Let's just turn it back off. I'm going to skip this, I hope, maybe. Sounding good.
Yeah, this game was pretty iconic. I really loved when I had this just playing on the 3DS. Hello? Hey! Mr. DNA, wake up. Yeah, we did it. <laughs> we finally did it. All right, well, an hour and 45 minutes to finally, you know, get to play a game. That's not too bad. And a whole bunch of other games. But, like, this is cool. I love it. So yeah, that's there's a lot more things you could do with this modded firmware or hacked 3DS. But I'm not going to get into all that. I wish the bottom screen wasn't so dim. I don't know why it's so dim like that. Maybe it's just because it's the beginning of the game. Oh, there it goes. Alright. But yeah, uh, let's go to my gear, map, items... I want to save my game. Oh. Hello. Well, I know what I'm doing for the rest of the afternoon. What are you doing for the rest of the afternoon? <laughs> Alright. Oh, save game right there. Alright, we're going to save it. I'm not going to play this right now. I'm going to go eat. I hope you guys enjoyed that. I hope you enjoyed that, Villager. Thanks for hanging out for the last hour and a half. Definitely appreciate it. Now, go mod your 3DS. Not your 2DS, your 3DS. That was fun. Stay tuned, because we're going to do it again with a Japanese 3DS. Have a nice day. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, and I will see you next time. Bye! -bye. I won't. I'll accept you. <laughs>